we have no executive because one of the parties that was elected to be on the executive refuses to enter. We have the potential to help people. We have limited potential, but we have potential. If the executive parties were to get round the table and start making decisions collectively, looking at our budget on a long-term basis, working out how we assist our health service, how we assist our economy, how we assist hard-pressed families, then we'd be in a much better place than we are today. But the fact of the matter is, as long as the DUP refuse to go into the executive, our waiting list will get longer, pressure on our family budgets will get much more increased, and businesses will find it much more difficult to do business. Well, we're, we're part of, of, of a mess. And that mess has a number of different elements to it. Part of it is the Tory chaos, which they bring to politics. And we've seen that in Westminster through Brexit and through the, the changeover and handover of power within the Tory party over this last number of months. And we have a mess created by the DUP. No one's looking rid of unionists. I want to work in partnership with unionists around the executive table. Gordon Lands and the DUP are refusing to come to the executive table. The also unionist party, the, the also unionist party, which are unionists, are prepared to come to the executive table. Unionists who vote for the Alliance Party are prepared to come to the executive table. Stability is, is built on this, on your willingness to work with others, and the DUP have shown they're unwilling to work with others. It's quite clear they didn't like the last election result, so they refused to go into the executive. They tell us and they come out with a series of misinformation about the protocol, all of which have been proven to be untruths. So when you present a campaign which is based on untruths, it's very, very difficult to resolve it. But the, the key disability is all political parties taking leadership upon themselves and taking that huge risk and taking the challenge and moving forward and going into the executive tomorrow and helping our health service, helping our businesses, and more importantly, helping our hard-pressed workers and families.